Welcome to Remarkable Rivalries, brought to you by the Hudeberg Auto Group. I'm Barry Trammell. When Oklahoma State and Oklahoma meet Saturday in Stillwater, it will be the 108th edition of Bedlam. The Sooners have dominated the series, winning 83 times. But the last five years have been entertaining to say the least, with three of the highest scoring games in Bedlam history, along with two of the bigger blowouts. So in anticipation of the Top 20 Showdown on Saturday, join us for a Bedlam Time Blast, today with 2012. OU was 8-2 and coming off an insane 50-49 win at West Virginia, while the 7-3 Cowboys came in with their third team quarterback leading the third ranked offense in the nation. Looking for their second straight win over the Sooners, Mike Gundy's Cowboys took it to Oklahoma. Joseph Randall scored three first half touchdowns, all runs of five yards or less, and an action-packed first half came to a close with the bobbling catch by Kenny Stills in the corner of the end zone, as Oklahoma tied the game at 24, only 13 seconds before the break. First play from scrimmage in the second half, Clint Chell finds Josh Stewart open over the middle and off he goes, 75 yards for the score as OSU took a 31-24 lead and the fireworks were a sign of things to come. Jalen Saunders' 81-yard punt return for the touchdown 24 seconds into the fourth quarter brought the Sooners within two and the two-point conversion tied the score at 38. Saunders also caught 10 passes for 162 yards. As time ticked away, the Sooners methodically drove the field. 86 yards, using up 6 minutes and 14 seconds before Blake Bell ran into the end zone from 4 yards out with only 4 seconds remaining. The game was deadlocked at 45. It was time for bonus bedlam. After OSU kicked an overtime field goal, OU won it on the breakout run by Brennan Clay from 18 yards out. OU never led until the final snap. OSU scored the most points it had ever scored in bedlam but still came up short. OU ran for only 106 yards, but Landry Jones completed 46 of 71 passes for 500 yards, his second straight game to reach half a thousand through the air. Very proud of my team and my guys uh, for hanging in there, going, you know, working our way through a hard fought game and, and coming up with the plays. Uh, in particular, down through the fourth quarter to, to win the football game. As a quarterback, as a, uh, a leader, you always want to be, I mean, you don't want to be in those situations. You, want, you do want to blow people out and you want to have all kinds of crazy success. But in those situations, you want to be the guy with the ball in your hands. And um, the coaches put it in our hands and in the offensive hands. And we were able to go down and, and uh, make some plays. We're strong. We're strong-willed and uh, we can face adversity. We go through any obstacle and we know that uh, this offense is very potent and uh, we can score from anywhere on the field. And uh, you just got to be, be able to play 60 minutes. And in this case, we played a little bit more than that. Get in a World Series, a Super Bowl, a state championship game, and you lose, and it just it's a crushing blow. And the only reason it is is because you've taken it to another level. And for the most part, this program's at a different level. So when you lose these games, <coughs> It's harder on you, but ultimately, as for a team and for their coaching staff, it can't be. We, we have to get ready to play the next game. This bedlam didn't end the regular season. OU went on to win at TCU before heading to the Cotton Bowl and getting annihilated 41-13 by Texas A&M. OSU wrapped up with a 41-34 loss at Baylor, then finished the season and started the new year with a 58-14 route of Purdue in the heart of Dallas Bowl on New Year's Day. May the 2013 Bedlam game on Saturday bring as many memories and thrills as these Bedlams of the last five years.